Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. If everybody is vegan, it will be heaven. The atmosphere of the world will change. The energy will be positive and benign, yeah? And we will feel different. Everybody will feel different. Not so heavy and not so suppressed, but more free, yeah? Free of the feeling and emotion, mental, everything is more clear. And the world will become better and better and we have better invention. Please continue watching to find out more. Je vous souhaite une bonne journée means I wish you a good day in French, the official language of New Caledonia. Cheerful viewers, I'm Diane. The people of New Caledonia believe that if humanity is good to the earth, our home, the earth will bless humanity in return. We thank God for gifting this magnificent planet with marvelous nature, benevolent co-inhabitants and abundant natural resources. Surrounded by a colorful coral reef barrier 1,600 kilometers long, New Caledonia boasts the largest marine life-rich lagoon in the world. Spectacular scenes of mountains, forests, sparkling waterfalls and gorgeous white sand beaches make New Caledonia one of the world's most popular tourist attractions. May God light your way with glory, love and grace. Welcome to part two of our three-part series, Uplifting Vegan Festivals from Around the World. In the previous episode, we introduced a remarkable vegan festival in Oahu, Hawaii, USA, as well as its success in encouraging attendees to switching their shopping habits to purchase more plant-based meats and cheeses. Today, we feature special vegan festivals in Brooklyn, New York, USA, and Tel Aviv, Israel. Let's start at the Black Vesh Fest in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, rich in culture, is the real gem of New York's five boroughs from its unique culture to the food and art scene with more than 700 arts and cultural institutions. Ranked as the second most densely populated county in the United States, Brooklyn is famous for incredible ethnic, cultural and national diversity. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has conveyed the important message that we must be vegan and practice a sustainable lifestyle to make a vegan world become true. If everybody is vegan, it will be heaven. The atmosphere of the world will change. The energy will be positive and benign, yeah? And we will feel different. Everybody will feel different. Not so heavy and not so suppressed, but more free, yeah? Free of the feeling and emotion, mental, everything yes. more clear. And the world will become better and better and we have better invention. Omo Wale Adewale is the founder and organizer of Black Veg Fest and he created this event as a hub for vegan food, health-focused workshops, and lectures that span intersectional topics related to African-American culture, veganism, social justice, and mental health. Mr. Adewale discussed the reasons for holding Black Vesh Fest in Brooklyn. I'm a Wale, a day Wale. I uh, had the idea for about five, six years now. Black Vet Fest, our first annual last year. I've uh, been thinking how can I get people to be healthier? How can I get people to be more compassionate about animals? How can we think more about the planet and start moving forward? It's a great time to try to bring, you know, black folks together and allow other people to be able to come in and experience it as well. Omo Wale Adewale also expressed his views on the benefits of adopting a vegan lifestyle. I was um, boxing, kickboxing, MMA. Um, all while I was vegan. Um, being vegan, the first thing is um, not eating animals. I mean, that's a, that's a great feeling. Not having that negative energy um, is, is incredible. Also, 
um, just in terms of you know getting your energy uh, you know back, having the resurgence of, of, of energy and, 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 and power. You know, I, I have that, and, and, and I have the protein that I need. You know, and I and I feel um, in, incredible. My chronic bronchitis has cleared up, and I feel great. And I feel this is the best way to go. The only thing I can say is that I, I wish I would have went vegan, you know, a long time ago. Hopefully, um, everybody is vegan, and um, if you're not vegan, you know, try it. Uh, try it for a week. Try it for two weeks. You're gonna continue to feel um, a lot better. Black Veg Fest includes a workshop room dedicated to exercise, yoga, and mental health. There is interactive entertainment for children and adults, including food and fitness demonstrations, virtual reality, and tons more. Antoinette Roman, a certified herbalist, gladly shared her thoughts about Black Veg Fest and veganism. Hi, I'm Antoinette, and this is my brand, Articles of Human, and it's a herbal brand. I'm a certified herbalist, so these are different blends, tinctures to help with different conditions, body butters to help with skin conditions, general wealth, main focuses anxiety, insomnia, you know, mental wellness, spiritual wellness, body wellness, different detoxes, digestive detox, liver detox, yeah, and just focusing on keeping the body as a whole healthy. The Black Veg Fest is great. It's great to just be around different vendors, focusing on the black community, because you know, the unity in the community is a beautiful thing. Veganism is a beautiful thing. It's great to have it in Brooklyn, and yeah, I'm happy to be here. Veganism, well, the first benefit is environmental. You know, those carbon emissions from fertilization and mass production of meat, beef, cows, is killing the environment. When you focus on yourself, your body feels completely different from when you eat meat. I'm Antoinette, be veg, go green to save the planet. Next, Lord Murk Takanen, an energetic young businessman, has some words for Supreme Master television viewers. Well, I studied the vegan business because, first off, I was concerned about my own health, and um, then I really just disagree with how they treated, you know, the animals. Yeah, anybody watching Supreme Master Television, I want to say peace and love to you. The highest principles that I've ever learned were love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And that when man honors man, he honors the creator. So always honor your brother, honor your sister, honor yourself. And definitely get a vegan chopped cheese from me, man. Not your ox. Hood Vegan Shop in Delhi. Let's travel to Tel Aviv, the second most popular city in Israel and the economic and technological heart of the nation to join what was billed as the largest vegan festival in the world. It was held on June 5th and 6th, 2019. This coastal city is also known as the vegan capital of the world. According to Omri Paz, founder and CEO of Vegan Friendly, the organizer of this event, over 50,000 people participated together with 1,000 vegan activists and featured over 100 booths. Omri Paz enthusiastically shares with us inspiring information, a positive and uplifted spirit, and an optimistic outlook toward a vegan world. My name is Omri Paz, I'm the founder of Vegan Friendly. And we're now at the Vegan Fest, Israeli Vegan Fest, which is the biggest uh, vegan festival in the whole world. We're expecting to get to 50,000 people in just a couple of days. And we're really excited. And it's amazing to see so many people enjoying the food, the environment, just a uh, vegan heaven. And well, I became vegan seven years ago after I watched the lecture of uh, Europski. Um, it was the first time that I was exposed to what goes on in factory farming and the first time that I made the connection between what I eat and what happens to animals. I see the progress, I see how more and more companies release new vegan products. This is a great example, Zoglobek is a company that until three years ago had only meat, was a meat company. Vegans used to protest against them. 
And now they, when they see the abundance of vegans, uh, how we, the number of vegans leaped in a couple of years, they have a whole vegan department. And now they're releasing every couple of months a new vegan product. So when you see all the product, all the celebs will become vegan. When you see that in every restaurant that you go in, walk into, they have a vegan menu or they know what veganism is, it keeps me really positive and uh, you know, and I, I feel that it's a matter of time, more and more people will become vegan, we can get to a critical mass point, that from that point it will grow naturally to the, to, the, uh, to the people, to the public. So I'm, I'm still very positive. Uh, and an event like this can make me very you know, positive. And as you can see, like about 50,000 people are going to come here to, to, to try vegan food. How many of them are vegan? Maybe 10,000. So most of the people here are not even vegan. And they want to take part of this amazing revolution. When coming to a vegan festival, it means a fun time to taste delicious food, meet acclaimed speakers, and get information on a compassionate lifestyle that's gaining popularity as it becomes more accessible. Let's meet Tsipi Witz, an Israeli entrepreneur dedicated vegan and lover of all things nutritious and delicious. Hi, I'm Tsipi. I'm from Vega Vegan Products. We're an Israeli company. All of our products are 100% vegan, plant-based. Um, we have a wide range of products. We have um, sliced yellow cheeses. We have a Parmesan type cheese. We have cream cheese in four different flavors. We have amazing chocolate and marshmallows and mayonnaise and salad dressings. Everything a vegan heart could desire. Our next guest is Mr. Droll Harrell, founder and CEO of Nili Food, that is using spirulina, a superfood, in its product because it contains a remarkable concentration of nutrients. This algae may help lower cholesterol and the risk of heart disease as well as boost metabolism. This makes spirulina a great whole food alternative to taking vitamin and mineral supplements in isolation. My name is Dror and I'm the founder and the CEO of Nili Food. It's a company which integrates food and health ingredients together. So the outcome is a very tasty, healthy food product with superfood like spirulina, which is a very famous superfood rich with protein, antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, and people like to consume it with pills or with powder. What we did, we put it together with tahini, and you get both tahini and spirulina. We admire you, Black Vesh Fest in Brooklyn, New York, USA, and Vegan Friendly's Vegan Fest in Tel Aviv, Israel, for your hearty and noble devotion to organizing such successful and impressive plant-based events. Your vegan festivals not only provide a huge variety of scrumptious vegan food, education on living healthily and spiritual and environmental improvement, but also advocate a benevolent lifestyle for a vegan world. We wish that you continue to achieve every success with your endeavors and may the heavens bless you. Fantastic viewers, we appreciate your presence for our program today. Please tune in on Tuesday, January 19th for part 3 of 3 of uplifting vegan festivals from around the world. Coming up next is Supreme Master Ching Hai's Courageous Work for the World, part 5 of 12, right after noteworthy news. May your day be filled with good thoughts, kind people, and happy moments. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique VEG. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada VEG. 
Τα προγράμματά μας προσφέρονται σε πολλές γλώσσες. Παρακαλούμε δείτε supermastertv.com κάθετος schedule και supermastertv.com κάθετος VEG.